Please put your hands together for our friend Andrew Mayer. <laughs> spaghetti. Yo, oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't usually have to cook props. Oh, yeah. They, <laughs> they don't have that here, I assume. I assume that someone had to boil a prop at home. Yep. <laughs> and then someone tried to eat it, and they were like, no, it's for the show. <laughs> the show has to eat it. Uh, hi. Happy New Year. Delighted to be here. I have a couple thoughts, and then I'm gonna leave. Uh, a <laughs> couple things that have happened this year, I've noticed a major um, uptick in uh, people putting things on the rear window of their truck. Uh, it's always the Punisher, it's always, every single time. It's never like Toy Story 2 or... <laughs> Just like sometimes I'm anxious in big letters. It's always comic book celebrity, the Punisher. Um, my favorite, the funniest thing in the world to me is seeing those trucks uh, with that huge thing uh, driving the speed limit. That's my favorite thing <laughs> in the world to see. <laughs> it's like, fuck yeah, pew, pew, pew. I love rules also. That's the only thing about me. Ten and two, here we go. Uh, I started watching The Golden Bachelor this year. Uh, nope, I had to stop real fast because it was too stressful. I love a good, awful reality program, but like, first of all, so if you don't know, Golden Bachelor, the, the Bachelor, he's uh, 70 years old, and similarly aged ladies uh, want to date him. And, or marry him, I guess, at the end, ideally. I don't know, I didn't get that far. Um, <laughs> Everyone on the show is like really cool and self-aware, and that's not what I want in reality television at all. They're like, they're like all old and know who they are, and that's no fun at all. <laughs> it's just like, even the Corey Jones one was just like, yeah, maybe I'll find love this time, or if not, I'll just go die. <laughs> that's okay too, and it's like, okay, the stakes seem real high here, cool. <laughs> Also, like, the first episode, again, I had to shut it off after a single episode, because in the middle of it, with, like, two of the people kiss, the, the guy and one of the ladies, not like two of the ladies, um, they kiss, and then the lady is talking to the camera, and she's like, my heart is beating so fast, and I'm like, go to the hospital. It's very important. <laughs> Oh man, we held hands and now I smell burnt toast. Is that excitement? Is that what excitement is? Um, okay, that was most of the thoughts. One, one more, and it's a longer one, and then Happy New Year. <laughs> this one's about dinosaurs. Um, yeah, all right, get fucking excited. Um, first off, I, I'm happy that they let scientists go back to space. That was that's important because they were ruining dinosaurs for a while. The first year, I feel like it was a weird game of chicken for a while because like the first year that they canceled the space program was the first year that an article came out that was like dinosaurs maybe had feathers actually, <laughs> and then since then they just kept like escalating it. Like, you sure you don't want us to go back to space? Okay, well they definitely had feathers. And then <laughs> at one point I read an article that was like, dinosaurs didn't roar, they made a honking noise. And I was like, all right, go to space. Go back to space. You're ruining this before you finally like put in a, an article that's like, oh, all dinosaurs twirled a tiny parasol. <laughs> <laughs> they all had a fan they would flirt with like, mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, here's a fact I learned about dinosaurs that's going to blow all your minds. Sorry if you planned on still having a mind. Uh, okay, so you know the T-Rex? You do. Uh, T-Rex lived uh, closer to today in years, time, 
than to when the Stegosaurus lived. Like there's, there's uh, now, there is now definitely, and then there's a big gap of time, and then that's when the T-Rex lived, and then there's a bigger gap of time, and then that's when the Stegosaurus lived. And that's wild to me, because I always thought it was just like, first there was dinosaur times, and now there's now. Uh, but <laughs> it was a really long time. And, and my takeaway from that is that, like given that we, in a shorter period of time, currently have T-Rex fossils in the ground, that means that while the T-Rex was alive, there were already dinosaur fossils in the ground. I, I don't know if that's true, but I said it confidently, and you, you, you can't check, so. I just can't imagine what would have happened if any of those T-Rexes had found any of those fossils. <laughs> I picture basically half the T-Rex population going like, oh, sick, this is like a really interesting look into where we all come from as a lizard people. This is like really fascinating stuff. Nice work, everybody. Good digging. <laughs> and then the other half just immediately like, uh, no, that goes against everything that we've heard from Lizard God to this point. Obviously, those were put there as a trick from the Lizard Devil to distract us from the word. <laughs> and then they fight, there's just a lot of fighting, they're just like honk, honk, honk. <laughs> And one of them is like, oh man, I figured it out. We don't have to fight about any of this. We just have to like be good to each other and like treat everybody the way that we want to be treated and like with respect and dignity and everything will be fine. And then you just cut to that one up on a cross as, <laughs> as all the other ones are in the background like, oh, T-Rex, I get it. <laughs> it's a T, it's a T. Brad, okay, yeah, that's that's where it went too far. Um, crosses look like T's. Whoa, guys, let's all back it up. <laughs> that joke's stupid for many reasons. Uh, first of all, uh, dinosaurs are too dumb for any of that to have happened realistically. Humans are, have been the only species in history smart enough to argue about whether fossils were put there as a trick from the devil. Uh, <laughs> Also, uh, you can't crucify a T-Rex. Their arms are too tiny. <laughs> you just spend, spend the whole time trying to stretch them out there. You should've just got a wide board, I guess. I mean, you can maybe get the legs out there and do them upside down, but that's not how you kill them. That's what they do if they want to get taller. <laughs> that makes sense, but only kind of. And <laughs> that's my favorite type of bit. Um, also, they would never find the fossils in the first place because any time they try to dig, they just bonk their face on the ground because uh, of their tiny arms. I know that's two tiny arms jokes in a row, but I know as soon as I brought up T-Rexes, everybody in the room was like, talk about their tiny arms. <laughs> and then I don't for like a really long time. And so you get two at the end as a reward for your patience. All right, gotta go everybody. Have a good rest of the year. That's Andrew Mayer. Thank you.